time, but I just want you to know everyone now in northern Indiana, Michigan, Michigan counties, your severe threat is over. Indiana counties, your severe threat is really just beginning and intensifying. I want to say heads up for the Knox area, North Judson may have some very strong wind that's going to cut through here and that may continue to intensify around Winnemac. For the Rochester area, for the Plymouth area, again, severe thunderstorm warning continues as well. Uh, different portions moving at different speeds, which is always a little bit ominous. But again, look how this line is, is finally coming together, like different parts are finally catching up. And you can see here what's more becoming a very discreet line. Uh, we're going to take a look at downtown South Bend, where the worst of the line is likely moving through. You can see a sunset behind it. Um, with that golden glow. So the worst of the weather in South Bend is about over. But if you're in Goshen, if you're in uh, Plymouth, if you're in Knox, stay on standby because the weather may be getting much worse for you. We're seeing this line come together and clear northwest towards the southeast. We've been kind of waiting all day for this to happen. We knew the ingredients were here. We're just waiting for kind of that kicker. And again, I mentioned the domino. We're waiting for that first domino or those first few dominoes to come together to try and form this line that's happening right now. A lot of lightning. This is an indicator of strong thunderstorms. When you have good number of lightning strikes, again, the ingredients are coming together and we kind of watch the number of lightning strikes uh, as an indicator of storms getting stronger or weaker. And this map just continues to fill in with lightning. We're going to go to meteorologist Dave Caulfield in the mobile weather tracker as we see the wind just now going into Goshen right now, the wind and the rain. So that is very intense. I'm looking at velocity in here. You can see the green. So this is in Goshen, the rain coming down and the lightning right there as well. I think he's on 33, um, but this is definitely strong wind and this is definitely some good lightning as well. Um, that's the view out of Elkhart County. So this is going from Goshen towards the new Paris area. Leading line here uh, of heavy rain and a lot of lightning. So this is again what that storm looks like. A uh, good number of lightning strikes. In fact, I'll get up on our lightning tracker. Uh, this is what Dave is driving through right now. All this rain, all this lightning, and at least some decent wind on the front, so front side of this wind gusts up to about worn for 60 mile per hour wind, but this system could continue to get stronger as well as that rain continues to pour, uh, kind of letting out some cooler air in this very, very, very mugged environment. But you can see a good number of lightning strikes that looks to be the County Road 17 bridge there uh, in Elkhart along 33. So the tracks are on the right side of the screen. He's heading northbound into the Dunlap area. So towards Elkhart. Uh, again, going through the intense portion of this storm, which again, a lot of lightning, a lot of lightning. There looks like they're going to make their turnaround right here. Um, so again, right now, that's the County Road 17 bridge. It's along 33, so in the Dunlap area, and you can see all this is moving through and he's still kind of on the front edge. There is still a lot over Elkhart. The strongest wind is going to be moving with the storm, likely on the front edge. Uh, but there's a lot of lightning there, and so this is very, very Whoa. intense. Uh, meteorologist Dave Caulfield, Dave, you're, you're right in the middle of all that. I mean, there is a good number of lightning strikes where you are. How was the wind when you approached the storm? Yeah, you know, Tom, when uh, when I was watching it on our on our radar, I really didn't. Uh, see that it lined up well with where the most intense velocity was. So I was surprised that we weren't getting the strong winds and then we went a little bit farther north, a little bit closer to Dunlap on 33 and that's when we really started to see the intense rain, the intense wind at this point. I would probably say we have some 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. It wasn't as intense as when we were in uh, portions of Cass County earlier this evening, but still some very intense uh, lightning at this point and and what we have run into on 33, which is a pretty major road, is already some flash flooding. It, the rain is very intense and we're having to stay in sort of the middle lane because there is uh, ponding on the roadways like crazy at this point. 
and with constant lightning this is still a very strong storm you can see with the lights here uh, as we make our way uh, through uh, this area here uh, by the uh, uh, sort of auto finance place instant auto finance uh, the lights are sort of illuminating just how much rain is falling and how much water is already ponding on the roadways and this rain continues to fall at a very intense rate so uh, one of the things that we may not have talked about just yet is as this line moves together and comes together the wind is the initial threat but right now uh, we're under the gun of some serious rainfall rates right now tom uh, if we can go back side by side, okay, I'm bringing this up. This is the estimated rainfall rate for around where Dave's at, not over exactly, but this is the most intense portion for an inch and a half, over an inch and a half per hour rainfall where you are, Dave. So you're on the order of an inch to an inch and a half per hour, and you're seeing what's resulting here. This is the estimate from the radar. This is why we have the mobile weather tracker, what you're seeing in real time right now. So Dave, you're in the thick of it. I'm glad you're driving safely, and I'm glad, again, you're on the lookout for that. Uh, and that's good information. You're telling me that the, the wind is kind of dragging behind. It's not with the gust front of the storm just yet, but there's a lot of rain coming down. So that's a lot of cool air that's pooling. That's kind of pushing it out. So is, is the, are you still with the wind? It looks like to me, like there's still a lot of rain being blown across the road. Is, is are you still seeing that? Yeah, Tom, uh, at this point, we are still under the gun of a sort of 40 to 50 mile per hour winds and that that rain is really uh, is blowing across the road. Um, I mean, visibility is going down very, very low at this point. Uh, our driver, Will, is doing a great job uh, just driving with the conditions here um, as we continue on 33 right now south as we make our way uh, closer to Goshen proper, uh, but still, the, the wind is intense. It's not blowing the car around uh, necessarily, which is good news, but still it is uh, making visibility even more reduced uh, when you consider just how heavy that rain is at this point. Uh, Dave, I'd like you to keep going into Goshen and eventually make your way to 119 and then head towards Wakarusa. If there's anything, uh, if you even can put a waypoint in for Wakarusa, you're gonna stay with the line of storms and it looks like the strongest wind is crossing 119. I'm going to go over here. Looks like at County Road 17. I know you're around the County Road 17 bridge at one point. We have hail now. And now we have hail coming down as well. So we have heavy rain and hail. This storm may be getting more intense. We're getting some hail now. And yeah. then we have, again, that strong wind signature crossing 119 right now. So again, if you're in Elkhart Look County. This. Look at this rain being blown across the road here. So we're seeing the wind and I've only seen this wind signature get stronger, Dave, where and around you are. So continue on your course, Goshen and then 119 towards Wakarusa. Uh, if we can get more confirmation on any damage there where 119 crosses County Road 17. Indiana 119 and County Road 17, some intense wind here that would estimate up to 70 miles per hour. Uh, and again, this radar signature indicating an excess of 73 miles per hour. This is sinking towards the New Paris area. Waterford Mills, New Paris, uh, stand by for strong wind. We're kind of watching the evolution of this storm at times get stronger. And you're seeing the intense rainfall, Dave Caulfield reporting hail. And you can see the wind just blowing across there. This is an intense thunderstorm. Warn for up to 60, but again, we may be seeing uh, what could be a warning up towards 70 miles per hour soon uh, if this continues. I'm looking for any update. It looks like we have a new update on that warning. Uh, and I'm gonna go in for the closest update on that. Just came down the pipe. Severe thunderstorm warning for Elkhart County. Now warned for 70. So Dave, that warning now for 70 miles per hour, radar indicated. Uh, again, the threat also, tornado possible, thunderstorm damage threat considerable. So you are in an intensifying thunderstorm right now over Elkhart County. So um, where are you? You're still in the city limits of Goshen right now? Yeah, we're just getting to the, uh, the uh, intersection of 33 where it interacts with 15. Tom. All right, so the 33, so this is downtown approaching the courthouse, the, 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 
uh, Lightning there. If you can stay on that course again towards 119 or actually maybe just continue. Why don't you just continue down 15? Um, you might even want to slow up a little bit. Uh, and stay on the back side of this, but I would consider consider going from 15 down to New Paris, and we've seen the wind get stronger and stronger. So uh, part of, again, he's on a delay, cell signal, does that mean they're having a problem? It means that the rainfall is so intense, it's so intense that it's likely taking out our cell signal. So if you want to message Dave uh, for people in the back, uh, um, Dave, I'm going to tell you to slow up, stay where you're at, uh, and I want you to kind of follow 15 down because you're looking at some intense okay. wind, um, and it's likely you're going to be on the back side of what's, I've really seen the radar here, really intensify. So Waterford Mills, New Paris, inside, away from windows, strong wind up to 70 miles per hour. This warning has only intensified. It has only intensified up to uh, uh, over the past 15 minutes as we saw this storm kind of erupt out of Berrien County around Niles and Edwardsburg, move over Elkhart and only gotten stronger. And we're estimating the wind right now in excess of 70 miles per hour. So make sure you're driving safely, Dave. I know you are uh, your driver there. And if you need to find any point to pull over, do so and do so safely. Again, you're giving us some amazing views here. This is, uh, it looks like they're going over the over uh, the overpass there in, El in Goshen, over the train tracks. Uh, Dave, what do you say the wind is getting stronger where you are? Yeah, absolutely, Tom. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, the, the wind is really making visibility near zero at this point and really the only uh, clear views that we're getting is when we're uh, seeing some lightning. Uh, I'm seeing what I believe to be some transformers blowing because that was not just lightning that was a greenish tint uh, that was that was nearby. Uh, so that's a, that's that's very concerning uh, as we make our way continuing on 23. Uh, maybe maybe some power flashes as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing this live, so I don't want to give any incorrect information, but uh, the traffic light just went out here on Madison Street. Yeah, Dave, I want you to slow down uh, just for your own safety. I want you guys to, to slow down a little bit. I think you guys will come into the rest of this damage, but the wind out in front of you has really intensified. Uh, uh, again, we're looking at a picture from okay. meteorologist Dave Caulfield. Let's, the reason we're kind of getting a bit uh, of a breakup let's pull over. Um, is because of uh, the intense rainfall where he's at. And again, uh, we're even telling our own people to, to slow down and don't drive into the heart of this. The heart of this right now is Goshen to New Paris. So they're going to kind of stay put in Goshen, and then they'll follow 15 down eventually to New Paris. But this is what it looks like inside this storm right now, and they're not driving very fast. That's all from the wind. And so we're seeing estimates of wind in excess of 70 miles per hour. That's this dark blue here from Goshen to New Paris. And this is getting closer to the radar, which means our sampling, our confidence in radar data is better. And so this is moving from Goshen south to New Paris along Indiana 15. All of central Elkhart County, central to southern Elkhart County, there is some very intense wind. I'll kind of scan around here in a moment, but we've got such amazing video right now. Again, we're showing you what it looks like with the mobile weather tracker. It freezes up at times. Again, it's using cell signal, and cell signal isn't all that great when you have extremely heavy rainfall. It kind of gets bogged down. Uh, but I, again, very concerned for people in New Paris, even the Middlebury area, all of south, southern and southeastern Elkhart County inside away from windows. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour are possible. We lost our signal in the mobile weather tracker. That's again due, due to the reduction in, in cell signal. We, we go kind of go back and forth on that. But that is the, probably the worst portion of the radar we are seeing right now. I'm going out for a, for a little bit wider view. Let's take that shot down for just a moment, guys. I just kind of want to do kind of a round robin uh, wrap up of, of what's going on across the area because there are multiple, multiple warnings here at 934. This line continues to come together. Knox, the Plymouth area, giving you a heads up right now that, yeah, there are severe thunderstorms for you. Uh, we're not getting as much information as far as as much damage there, but this line is just now coming together. 
Was it going to be that 710 split? Was it going to skip over us? Well, it's forming here, which kind of adds to some difficulty uh, as far as this line forming. But again, knocks into the Plymouth area. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning there. I want to just kind of go in for a closer scan, but we're not seeing as intense with the radar, although due to its orientation, uh, may not be reflecting back that full picture there. But again, we see that line crashing down, about to move into Knox, about to move into Plymouth. But this looks far less intense uh, when you compare it to what it looks like over the Elkhart County area. But we're seeing this line intensify. So for Plymouth, for Culver, for Rochester, for Argus, this part of the line is just kind of getting started. Um, but for Elkhart County, for Goshen, now towards the weather service down towards Syracuse. Again, this is a really evolving intense line of storms that I think we may be going into more damage. Again, you can see the motion of this uh, pretty much coming down 15. I want you to look at a little wave here that's coming up. That's the gust front that's now kind of being pushed out in front of this storm. So now we're already down to Syracuse. So Dave's in Goshen. Syracuse is where kind of the storm's kind of erupting out of. Um, that's where things are getting stronger. So Dave's in Goshen. Let's go back to that shot and let's see if the wind has reduced any. I have a theory that it probably is. We may get their shot back because of that, because a strong wind is going down 15 to even 33. So uh, Dave, are you there? Uh, the wind decreased a little bit. Yeah, uh, temporarily, Tom. I mean, the rainfall is just so intense um, that it's tough to tell, honestly. But we're starting to see our first semblance of, of tree limb damage. We are in the Goshen area right now. We're making our way back onto uh, 33 uh, as we get up here, um, or at least uh, the, the Lincoln Way um, area. Um, Sorry, it's just so intense here that we're, we're just trying to get our general bearings. And um, as we make our way, it looks like we're turning onto uh, Indiana 4 at this point um, as we try and make our way a little bit uh, closer to downtown Goshen. Yeah. But we have seen uh, some uh, tree limb damage. Uh, I'm seeing some, some larger uh, trees down at this, or uh, uh, limbs down, I should say, at this point. Uh, but the wind has lightened up just a little bit. We're starting to see um, a, a little bit of uh, less heavy precipitation, but I'm still looking on, on radar, Tom, I'm still looking at sort of another maximum, um, uh, some, some blue uh, on our velocity there um, just to my west. So I'll, I'll stay in this area just to, to see what, um, how intense that is uh, just south of Dunlap. Yeah, I'd hang on there, let that all push through, and then I would continue your way down uh, 15 towards New Paris. Uh, again, you're giving us some great shots from downtown Goshen. Uh, I want you to focus on, on coordinating your route with your driver. It looks like you're right in front of the courthouse because there's the old guard shack. So you're right downtown Goshen there right now, uh, right downtown where the rain is coming down. But this intense blue here is now from Goshen southward, Goshen southward. Uh, and that's where we still have the estimates for wind in excess of 60 or 70 miles per hour. I'm stepping off yeah, here just to get a kind of closer look at some of the crossroads. Uh, County Road 46, County Road 43. So this is now going from Goshen to Syracuse with some very intense wind here. Uh, this will move over the weather service, which should give us a very interesting perspective. But again, we're estimating wind close to 70 miles per hour. Uh, um, so we're again, we're, we're watching things very closely, very closely with again, all these storms um, with the possibility of even some rotation here inside these storms. So um, the re weather surface is watching now multiple cells, very busy night for them as well. And we're focused just on the one in Elkhart County primarily. A uh, couple um, stop signs. So again, continue to drive safely, especially if we come across the lights are still on there in Goshen, but I'm directing Dave to continue to go southward. Um, I might even say, Dave, why don't you go down? If you have chance to change course, go 33, uh, continue on 33 and then eventually try to make your way towards Syracuse. Um, so you can make your way to New Paris and eventually Syracuse and see what you kind of what you find in that path because I'm looking at the strongest wind right now 
um, the new Paris to Syracuse area, so southeast of Goshen, and that's going to move over the weather service very soon. I'm going to kind of clean up my show here as I, I kind of have zoomed in on different parts of this storm from time to time. Um, still a very intense line of storms that continues to sink to the south and moving away from us right now. Uh, but this is the, the radar yeah. view over Elkhart County, uh, then towards North yeah. Webster. Still a good bow uh, on this line of storms. As we continue to, continue to watch this here. So again, I'm going to kind of reset. Uh, we'll kind of go round robin here, show you what's going on. You're looking uh, on one side of me, the mobile weather tracker in Elkhart County, the Goshen area, as they continue to progress southward uh, in search of damage after intense wind and line of storms. It's just coming together. This is an evolving situation here at 940. Uh, we started our severe coverage around 745 for one storm that looked to just be kind of clipping us across the northeast. That has moved out. There's now a gap in this line over LaGrange County where that storm moved through. And now we're seeing these other pieces. I said we were waiting on the dominoes to fall. I would say yes, we will continue through 10 o'clock. These warnings are likely to continue through there. Uh, we can get our anchors in and go on standby, but my guess is that we can do a lot of weather and mobile weather tracker as we continue through 10 o'clock. This warning will continue through and likely clear the area by 10 o'clock, but we're still going to be dealing with this warning uh, until possibly 1015 or 1030 uh, through portions of Fulton County. So I think we're going to continue our coverage here on CW25 into our 10 o'clock newscast, giving that it's 940. So uh, let's continue to gather that information. And I know we probably have reports on power outages uh, and possibly other reports that we can probably start dishing off to anchors and reporters uh, doing our newscast. But right now we're still warning you about this current line of storms from Knox towards the Plymouth area as this line continues to kind of evolve and and really push towards the south. Look how this is kind of it's been broken, but it's coming together. Um, not quite that 710 split anymore. There's still a couple gaps in this line where there are more severe or less severe thunderstorms. Number of lightning strikes. I mean, this has been very intense over Elkhart County. That storm was nothing as it came on shore. And then once it did, it got much stronger over Niles and Buchanan and Elkhart. And now it's really started to dive towards the south where we're still seeing the strongest wind from the Goshen area southward again right through here. So Goshen to Syracuse. Notice the bow here uh, that's about to move through the Weather Service office. So I'll be interested when I check the weather wire here uh, in a few moments what they're seeing. Uh, but it has to be a very intense line of storm right now moving through Syracuse right now uh, moving around the Millersburg area. So south of Millersburg. So if we're talking to meteorologist Dave Caulfield, we want him to move from Goshen to Millersburg and we want to see if there's kind of anywhere in between there where we've seen kind of that damage, but still estimating wind gusts in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour north of North Webster that can knock down trees. If you're inside, if you're anywhere close to Syracuse and Millersburg, if you are in southeastern Elkhart County, if you are in northeastern Kosciuszko County, you're inside away from windows. This is the strongest wind on the radar that can knock down trees, knock out power. It's a danger. We're just taking that precaution to get inside away from windows. Know where trees are possibly on your property. You don't want to be on that side of the house. It's center of your house, good strong structure. That's where we want you to be in case limbs or trees are knocked down, which is a real possibility when you start talking about wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour. Severe thunderstorm warning here from Syracuse to North Webster. It's still raining very hard. Don't get me wrong, it's still very, very hard across Goshen, now ending in Elkhart, but still very intense down, uh, down towards the Millersburg area. Um, we have Elkhart video. Is that, is that a confirmation? Uh, let's take a look at some video out of Elkhart. Uh, this is the train yard there. So now this is looking on the back side. You can see the rain is actually lightening up. So this is confirming what we're seeing here. Elkhart, the train yard uh, there, uh, the rain coming to an end. But this is facing towards that intense storm that continues to push down towards the south. So you can look at the lightning in the distance there. So rain coming to an end in Elkhart, still raining very heavily across Goshen and still likely some strong wind down towards the south. So if you're tuning in right now, we're on the CW25. Our coverage began on ABC 57 
And now we're over here leading into our 10 o'clock newscast that we're likely going to continue with our severe coverage as we watch again intensive intensification of this storm that pushed through Elkhart County and really dropping some heavy rain. It's not hitting everywhere. This is not evenly uh, managed as far as an even even line of thunderstorms. So we got a little bit wider. Here's some updates for you. Severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm warning, and then just a portion of this warning towards Knox. So again, my information to everyone in the back is, you know, get people in here as we as we get closer to our newscast. I think we can go between weather and news coverage as we go through the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, but we're going to stay on on air here as we continue to track the storm, which very intense. But the warning has led up for Marshall County right now. So that's your update right there. Still intense over Knox with some strong wind. But again, we've had this gap at times. I'm not saying you're not getting a thunderstorm. You are. You're seeing some rain. But Plymouth no longer under a severe thunderstorm warning. Plymouth is no longer under severe thunderstorm warning. Now this line still has to kick through uh, Marshall County, Fulton County, Kosciuszko County, maybe even to, into Pulaski County. So we still have a good 30 minutes or so of this line eventually clearing the area before we're all clear. But that is about to happen. The all clear is going to be happening soon. Uh, and we may get by with not a lot of widespread damage. But if you're following us, I know we have our Facebook live stream up. You can comment and tell you if you have lost power or not, especially if you're in Elkhart County. We'd love to hear your reports. That's going to help us with our news coverage and to report the news from what you're seeing or what you're experiencing. So that's important as well. Number of lightning strikes. I think this is kind of telling the tale of this tell the tale of the tape here. Uh, as I'll bring on this info, I really like to look at the number of lightning strikes. So uh, just just rough estimate cloud to ground lightning strikes for this cell over here across Stark and Marshall County. Yeah, it's not as large. That's also a dead giveaway, but we've got about 182 lightning strikes. Now, if this number continues to increase, this line's getting stronger. Uh, the other part that I want to watch, though, is this portion over primarily Elkhart County, and that's at almost 600 and 